Right, today we are doing the level 88 fire spell quest. Good to see you. My, how you're racing along in your studies. It seems almost yesterday that you were just a spark. It is time for you to learn a new spell of the fire school. The Sun Serpent, a mighty fire creature. The secret to summoning the Sun Serpent was thought lost with Celestia. But as you know, what was lost has been found. Go to the Crustacean Empire in Celestia and speak to Thurston Plunkett. He knows all about solar magic and should be of help. Return here when you are finished. And do be careful out there. Right. Okie dokie. Off to Celestia. Been a while since we've been there. Jeez. Um, but yeah, this is the last spell that um, Falmia will teach us on this character. So sad. But hey, it happens. She's going to be made redundant soon and we're going to get Ignis. Isn't that exciting? I think it is because after these quests that we're doing today, the next one is Raging Bull, which is at 108. So, um, you know, that's that's interesting. I completely forgot that level 88 is the last spell for the game, basically. <laughs> the last spell that your Ravenwood teacher teaches you, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, Thurston Plunkett, he is over in the Crustacean Empire, which is around the back here. Through this wee little gate, um just kind of off in the distance not too much to be worried about though right probably maybe and he's in the wee little house or the wee little middle bit up in here it's kind of weird man this okay we're changing this mount just while we're here it's um strange it's very strange this one's just as strange but not as strange <laughs> never put ice skates underwater not a good idea don't go ice skating underwater guys would not recommend at all come seeking information about the sun serpent a more fiery being there's never been ah oh, but i'm getting ahead of myself if you wish to know more of the sun serpent its coming was foretold within the chantry venture there and read the inscription circling the base of the map of the grand spiral return here when you are finished right we're gonna mark here because the chantry is in the district of the stars so it's a wee little bit away, and we we ain't walking all that way because I'm lazy. I'm really, really lazy, and I just don't want to walk that far. So hey, District of the Stars, man. I love this new um, loading screen that they've got for St. Patrick's Day. It's so cool. So cool. I love it. I really, really love the addition of the um, the the jeweled horse mount. I can't remember what it's called, and the Marleybone car as well. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 11 out of 10. Probably one of my favorite seasonal ones as well. Now, I don't think they had it last year. I really like that they're bringing back or br making new loading screens for like different seasons. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Right. I have to say that I dislike the caramel one a little bit. It was kind of, kind of meh. Um, I would have preferred if it was like something different, but hey, it, it doesn't always have to be cool, I guess. Right. The inscriptions are very faint, but they speak of the sun as an egg. Within it is a coiled snake, the sun serpent. The sun serpent made an ancient pact with the pyromancers and sun school wizards of old. Maybe it remembers that pact. Hmm, maybe it does. This is interesting. Never been into this house before. I don't think you ever have to go into that house apart from this quest. <laughs> Wonderful! I hope you are able to decipher those ancient scratchings. I could make neither heads nor tails of them. Take what you have learned about the Sun Serpent to your professor, the delightful Miss Falmea. She can guide you further. I think someone has a crush on her. Wouldn't be the first person. Would not be the first person, but I'm just saying. Thurston... Mm, mm, yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, Thurston. Calm down. She's just a fire school teacher. Calm down there, buddy. I went to the wrong place. Oh my gosh. I'm already in Celestia. We didn't need to go to Celestia. I had Celestia on my mind. Jeez. Not good enough. Come on. Oh, I cannot navigate the spiral to save myself. <laughs> Apparently. Jeez. How did I... I don't even know how I did that. I don't know what part of my brain was like, you know what, that's a good idea. To go to the wrong place that you've just been, that you don't need to go to anymore. Who knows? Weird. Right. Falmia. Hello. Hmm. You look a little wet under the collar. I trust you found what I sent you for. 
Due to its affinity for heat and the ancient world, the prime spot to summon the Sun Serpent is probably Azteca. I remember once meeting a mystic from there. Pakal Redmask. He may have an idea about a suitable landing spot. Search Azteca for Pakal. He's probably in the Zocalo, the central meeting place in Azteca. Report back when you've met with success, and no sooner. I think I know where um, Pakal is. I, I just have a hunch that we've been speaking to him for uh, quite a bit through our questings in Azteca. And by the time you're level 88, you... I mean, I can guarantee that you'll be at least in Azteca and speaking to Pakal. I can guarantee you that because this character's done everything possibly possible to get XP. <laughs> and the fact that we're only just about to start Zoltendok means that I'm pretty sure you'll know who Pakal is by the time you get to level 88. Just saying. Just saying. But it's good that they considered that you may not. Just in case you one day they add a whole bunch of XP to a random quest that you can do earlier. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, Pakal, hello. Hello again. What's that? You'd like a place large and safe enough to evoke the Sun Serpent? Ah, that may be difficult. Perhaps impossible. I know of a certain chamber in the Cenote, but it has been taken over by the Hungry Dead. It is not safe to go there. Surely the Sun's Light would be welcome in that dank, dark place. But it is too much a risk. I cannot reveal the location. Never let it be said I sent a young magician to the Azure Chamber to face death at the hands of the Hungry Dead. Ah, I think I have said too much. Mm, I think so. I think I know where we're going. <laughs> I think I know where we're going. We go into the Azure Chamber. Sounds really spooky and I'm sure there's no one going to fight me in there ever. Definitely not possible. Because obviously the Hungry Dead don't exist. They're just not not existent. I don't like running into walls. That's not good. Especially when I'm checking what spells I have. Jeez, come on, game. You should move the walls for me when I'm doing this. Come on. Come on. Right, where is the Azure Chamber? It is oh, just over here. Right in here. Wow, that was very close. Love to see it. Love to see it. What do we got in here? One has come into this place. Bones still wreathed in flesh. Let us free their bones from that weak, useless flesh. Yikes. They sound a little bit scary. Right, we need a couple of prisms. We're going to put in four just in case I'm bad, but I doubt it. Um, and yeah, otherwise we should be fine. He does boost the, the boss I looked up earlier. Um, he does boost fire, so that's cool. It's just these minions that are fire and resist like 80% fire or something. So weird. I was gonna say, why is the music so quiet? Jeez. Like, it's just so quiet. So weird. Weird. I don't know about that one, man. I don't know about that. I love the Azteca music, and when it's quiet, I don't like it. Because it's so... The Azteca battle music is honestly some of my, one of my favorite battle combat themes in the game. It's so good. So good. Oh, they only resist 40% to fire the minions, so that's fine, but still we need prisms. That's like what an e freak now, which we've already got, and I don't even know if I have cleansing, I forgot to check that. So that's cool, because all of the things can do e freak because that makes sense. I do have cleanse. Yes, I do. Wow, I'm so smart and intelligent. Look at me go. Look at me go. I'm so cool. <clears throat> so cool, but I think I can also want it, possibly. To get off this weakness as well so we'll just wait till that maybe i don't know it depends it depends um when we get things <clears throat> and how many blades i think i need because it's what a 35 percent boost so that's not too bad um we do have another prism which is good very good very very good um we can probably what is this oh yeah he's like got a life mastery and a fire mastery kind of weird kind of weird weird combo but hey i guess it makes sense somewhat he can also do a rebirth as well so and link power link link and power link wow so he can do a little bit of healing which is not not great he can also go for a guiding light as well which is again more healing and also mend which is an aura for 20 percent outgoing heals for the next four rounds so yeah 
slightly, slightly worrying. <coughs> Just ever so slightly, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Completely fine. Yeah. Man, I hate Fire Colossus. It takes so long, and I don't know why. I don't know why it takes so long, but they just chose to make it take so long. Kind of weird. Um, oh, we didn't put this one on. Interesting. We'll do that now. <clears throat> and then I think, honestly, since we're going first, um, I would kind of like to do a dragon. I think that would probably be the best. But, I mean, Meteor also works, and we could pr we'll definitely kill the minions if we just hit with a Meteor. But we have a dragon, so we're going to wait for an enchant for that. We are going to go for this. And then we're going to go for a faint. Um, yeah, I think that sounds like the best idea. And wait for an enchant, basically. And when we get an enchant, we'll hit pretty quickly. Sounds like a plan. There is the blade. The life blade that he puts on. That's a infall. And this is a really bad hit. Yep, meteor. Okay, fair enough. It's going to do like 200 damage. Wow, I was nearly spot on. The game's like, nah, you can't be spot on today. We're going to do one less. One less. <laughs> because that makes so much of a difference. Or one more, sorry. Because that makes so much of a difference. Man. Right. There is faint numero one. And if we get another one, before we get the enchant for dragon, that would be cool. Um, we didn't. I don't really want to, we're going to discard one of, we're going to discard both of them because I think we're going to kill. We'll wait one more turn, see if we get anything, and if we do, then we'll use it. And if not, we'll just hit with a dragon, a meteor, a meteor. I'm not hitting unenchanted dragon. I'm not that stupid. I ain't that stupid. I may look it, but I'm not. We're also desperately running out of health as well. I'm only just noticing this now. Um, yeah, I think we might have to hit next, just, just to save ourselves. Please get an enchant. Of course, we do not get an enchant. Of course we don't. Of course we don't. Why should we? Why would we ever get an enchant when we need it? Nope, not how the game works. Oh well. We crit, that's a good start. He won't block. Yeah, that's right, you won't block, you're bad. Okay, 6,000, that's not too bad. Minions are definitely dead. I knew they would be dead. Um, it was like a given, really. It's just the boss. He's, what, half health? Luckily, life doesn't do too much damage on me, so that's okay. I mean, it does a little bit, especially with Blade, but it shouldn't be enough to kill me with, like... Mm, okay, we're, we're getting close. We're getting close, not gonna lie. We could just go for an Efreet. Now we get this, okay. Um, we could just Blade into an Efreet, and honestly, I think that would do a lot. A decent amount, at least. So we're gonna try that. If we get another blade, we'll use it. If not, we'll just hit with an e freight Because I'm not too worried about what he does. And even if we do e freight then he's got a weakness on. So it doesn't really matter. What we might do is use the want hit for this. Because this puts on a weakness. And we ain't about that life. We ain't about the weakness life. If we're going to hit, we're going to kill. Oh, we got this as well. Nice. Um, yeah, let's do this real fast. We'll do this. Luckily, we've got a lot of pips to spare. So that's pretty cool. We are doing quite well. He doesn't have that many. I don't know how he just gained a pip then. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. He had one and now he's got like three. What? I swear. What the heck? I swear that's how that worked. He doesn't have... I'm so confused. That's so confusing. What the heck? Um, right, we're just going to E-Freight. Just because he's got four pips, he could do something kind of weird. So we're going to hit. We'll crit, hopefully. Um... Should do at least 4,000, I would say. Maybe slightly under. Um, probably. Yeah, okay, 5,000, that's not too bad. Just under 5,000, I should say. 4,970 something. Um, and what's good, we can just go straight in for a dragon. Um, yeah, we'll go for a dragon. It does more damage. Um, just a shame that we have to wait on like 248 health but surely we'll be fine right <laughs> we're critting so much this is good this is very good very good right there we go he's dead gg easy peasy not even not even scary at all oh here he is here he is look at him Oh 
Wow. You have survived the baptism of flame. My light will shine upon you when you call, and my fire will fall upon your enemies. Ooh, exciting. Right, let's go to Pakal again and see what he has to say about us being cool. Surely we could have just gone back to Falmir and been like, hey, we did it. We're so cool and stuff. But apparently that's not quite how it works. Not quite how it works. But hey, anyway, Pakal. You went to the Azure Chamber and survived? I mean, I suspected you would have no trouble dealing with Tokamek, but did not want to ask. Right, let's go to Dahlia in Ravenwood and finish off this quest. Isn't that exciting? We're going to get Fire Serpent. This spell is one that I've been waiting for for so long to get. It's such a cool spell. I love it a lot. I really, really do. It's one of my favorite fire spells. So I'm really excited that we get it. My other favorite fire spell is um, probably Raging Bull. And I cannot wait to get that as well. And then, obviously, the um, Small Machine, which is the Caramel spell. That one is also very, very, very cool. And I love that one a lot as well. Those, those are my top four fire spells. And all of them I can't get yet, except Fire Serpent. So we're nearly there. <laughs> we're nearly there. Nearly got them all. Excellent work. I am always impressed by your performance. Perhaps I'm making things too easy. We will have to see if we can step things up. Yay! Sun Serpent, amazing. Look at that. So this does um, 785 to 885 um, as a first hit, and then 330 to all enemies afterwards, which is pretty cool. It's a really, really cool concept of a spell. Also 10 pips, as all of the Azteca spells are. Um, yeah, I'm going to put probably one of my deck just for fun. Um, I'm probably going to replace the e fruit with it just for fun, because it does literally the same thing, except more damage and less weakness, which I don't really need to rely on the weakness too much. So yeah, that's because it does what? That does 780 and this does 785. So technically it's better. Um, plus 300 to everybody as well. So might as well. Anyway, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And remember to craft outside the box.